With your permission, can I put you on camera? I look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I just want people to know there are real pets and homeless women out here in the woods. Okay? We're not making this stuff up. We do come out here once a week. We bring food and what we can. But you know what? I'm doing this with zero grants, zero support, zero budget. And I, I just need you to see that this is real. And you know what? Without showing you, um, what do people really need to know about what's going on out here? What, what... Yeah, I realize they actually really don't help. I met a friend of mine named Gina, and she's got severe PSCD, and she's got mental problems. And her um, old man, ex-old man actually, cut his monitor bracelet off, and she's terrified, and they won't help her get a home or nothing. Yeah. But yet, we're going to let drug addicts get yeah. home. Yeah. And she That's needs bad. to help, and they don't. Yeah, and it's hard because not, and, and, and people assume that they see one homeless person on drugs, they assume that everybody's on drugs, and that's not the case. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what to do to get them. Now, without mentioning names, I'm videotaping, and I'm letting the people know that you, you were out here with your husband, no names being mentioned, but he's gone right now, and you're having to try to survive on your own, and that's not easy. You know, it's getting ready to snow. It's getting ready to be miserable. And there's gonna be some needs, right? And, uh, and so we got to pray about that. You know, uh, some of the other people in the camp said it'd be nice if we could get a generator. Oh, right? Yeah. If you had a generator, how would that help? That would help out a lot. The electric and the phones. And oh, charging the phones, right? Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Charging the phones because the phones is important. And, and, and for, for those of you that don't know, we're we're not at the corner store. We're we're not in the city. We're out in the wooden areas, and I'm not going to tell you where. But I'm telling you this for a reason. It's not easy to get a phone charge if you don't have power. And but here's the thing, folks. Winter's coming, and uh, folks, here's what you need to know. The snow's coming. And a lot of these tarps and tents need to be replaced because they got holes in them. They're not going to hold the weight of the snow. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the cold. When I hear generator, I think of heaters. How many of you could bless us with a heater to go along with the generator? Now, if you haven't been to the website, the shepherd's heart and hands.com, go there, click on Christmas for the homeless and you pick what you want your funds to go to. You want it to go to a generator? Guess what? There's a button for that. Right. You want it to go to tents and blankets? There's a button for that. I have it all set up. All you have to do is go to the Christmas for the homeless. And it's for Muncie this year. We're having the event in less than a month. Why? Because it's going to be too much snow to do it in December. So thank, the week before Thanksgiving, we're going to be out here with our guitars, our microphones, having ch church in the woods, Joe style, the way that we do it, but also with all the gifts that you have for them. This particular camp really needs it. Yes, there's other camps that are going to get blessed. They need sleeping bags and tents and help. It's not just one camp in Muncie. There are many, many people who have lost shelter for one reason or another. But don't you dare assume that everyone lost uh, shelter for the obvious reasons. I can tell you over and over again, they're, the new homeless, the new homeless is simply because of rent increase, a landlord deciding he wanted more and not to have compassion on the tenants. Matter of fact, I, I have a home in, in Winter Garden, Florida. Every one of them would be homeless if we didn't put them in a home together. We want to do that here, but I need your help. I'm negotiating on land right now, but land is is nothing without the house being built. Some of you have a lot of land. You can donate. Maybe we can build a legalized tent city. Mm -hmm. That's another subject for another video, but I'm letting you know I'm out here every week visiting the homeless, and I'm asking you, don't judge me 
look for yourselves and notice that I'm uploading videos and pictures not to publicize people, not to publicize my ministry, but to let you know that it is alive and well the problem in Muncie, Indiana, as well as many places across the USA. I'm in connection with homeless outreaches all throughout the United States, not just Muncie. I came from Orlando to Muncie, found this camp, and there are people here struggling each day, wondering how they're gonna make it. Thank you for your compassion and your support. Go, go ahead.